Welcome back, and thanks for checking back in with us. I'm Scott McCarthy, owner-operator of Balance Strength and Fitness Center, here with DETV to show you some healthy habits. In this episode, we're going to cover a very important topic. We're going to talk all about your body's core muscles, what and where they are, how they work, why you should train them on a regular basis, and a few exercises to strengthen them. Let's start with, what is your body's core? In this context, the term core is an abstract term. Your body doesn't have a physical core like an apple. The term core here generally refers to seven groups of muscles that support, stabilize, and move the center of your body from your rib cage to your pelvis. It's very important to maintain and strengthen these muscle groups as most of us are in situations that require sitting for extended periods of time, whether it be for work or leisure. This extended sitting can weaken your core and glute muscles and cause tightness in the front of your legs and hips. These changes can lead to many negative consequences, including low back pain and weight gain. The muscles in your core are, starting at the top, your diaphragm, which is a large dome-shaped muscle that sits at the base of the chest and separates the chest from the abdomen. It's the primary muscle used in breathing. Next, we have your four layers of abdominal muscles, starting with those six-pack rectus abdominis muscles we're all familiar with, followed by your external and internal obliques, and then the deepest of the four abdominal muscles, your transverse abdominis. These ab muscles together support and allow movement of the trunk and regulate internal abdominal pressure. Next, we have your latissimus dorsi, or lats for short. Your lats are considered part of your core because they assist in stabilizing your spine. The fourth muscle group is your erector spinae muscles. They are a long muscle group that lie on each side and extend up the spinal column. They play an important role in spinal stability and perform movement of your vertebral column. Up next we have your psoas muscle. Your psoas muscle is located deep within the lumbar region of your spine. This muscle works by flexing the hip joint and lifting the upper leg towards the body. This is a very important muscle because when you sit for extended periods of time, as most of us do, your psoas muscle may become tight, pulling your pelvis forward and placing additional pressure on your lumbar spinal discs. This additional pressure may cause lower back pain. At number six, we have the deepest of your core muscles, your quadratus lumborum, or QL for short. Commonly referred to as a low back muscle, your QL originates from your pelvis and runs up diagonally to your lumbar vertebrae. This muscle will cause lateral flexion of your spine or elevate your pelvis. Finally, we have the seventh muscle group, which is your pelvic floor muscles. Your pelvic floor muscles stabilize your pelvis, support your organs, and assist in bodily functions. These muscles all work together to stabilize and move the trunk of your body. Keeping a strong and healthy core will reduce your risk for injury, help with low back pain, and benefit your athletic performance. Now that we've gone over the what, where, how, and why, I'm gonna show you a few exercises to strengthen these core muscles. The first exercise I'd like to show you is dead bugs. Dead bugs is a great exercise to strengthen a number of the core muscles we talked about at the same time. Unlike other core exercises like sit-ups, Dead bugs can target the deeper core muscles, like your transverse abdominis, pelvic floor, and erector spinae, as well as working the exterior abdominal muscles. All right, everybody, let me show you how to do dead bugs. In order to start, we're gonna lay on our back, arms and legs in the air. We're gonna get really tight abdominals by flexing our abdominals. We wanna maintain a neutral posture as we extend our opposite limbs. The next exercise I want to show you is the suitcase carry, or unilateral farmer's walk. The suitcase carry is a great way to strengthen your QL, or quadratus lumborum. This can greatly add to your spinal stability and lessen your risk for low back injury and pain. The suitcase carry is performed by holding a kettlebell or dumbbell in one hand as you walk a specified distance. You want to prevent the lateral flexion of your upper body and hold a neutral postural position as you walk. The final exercise I'm going to show you today are bird dogs. 
Bird dogs are gonna work your abdominals, your glutes, and your erector spinae muscles. This exercise is an ideal choice for those people with low back concerns, as it can help improve balance, posture, and stability. So we're gonna perform the dead bug by bringing your fist to your opposite knee and extending those opposite limbs outward, making sure not to kick your foot above parallel with your hips or raise your hand above parallel with your shoulder. Come down, touch your knee, and repeat. You can start with five to 15 per side and progress from there. Okay, everybody, that's gonna wrap it up for today. Thanks for hanging out and letting me discuss your body's core, how important it is to strengthen and maintain, and a few exercises to get the job done. Good luck with your training, and be sure to check us out at balancefitnesstraining.com, on Facebook or Instagram at BSF Gym, and at DETV for more healthy habits.